Okay, number five. Um, it's a little bit tougher because this is not in a form where things are going to cancel out right away for us. So I need to make something cancel out. And I can make the x's or the y's cancel, but looking at this, it's much easier to turn a 1 into a 2 than it is to turn a 3 into a 4. So I want this x to become a negative 2x to cancel out with that one. That means I'm going to have to multiply this entire equation by negative 2. That's going to give me negative 2x, negative 2 times 3y is negative 6y, and negative 2 times negative 14 is positive 28. Watch all your signs there. Now let's add those together. Those are gone. Negative 4 plus negative 6 is negative 10, and 32 plus 28 is 60. And let's divide by the negative 10, divide by the negative 10, y equals negative 6. Now let's plug back in someplace. Probably that first equation looks the best. So I'm going to say x plus 3 times negative 6 equals negative 14. That's negative 18 right there. So x minus 18 equals negative 14. Add the 18 and x equals positive 4. So final answer, 4, negative 6.